right, guys, welcome to episode number seven for Ferrani Guardian here on Duel Night. Super excited to be back here every other week. I really hope you guys enjoyed the series. Did you guys enjoy last episode? Let us know in the comment section below. And man, the ultimate losers match for the last episode was intense. If you guys have checked that out, make sure you guys check out the Patreon down below. But anyways, I'm super happy to be back. <laughs> this week, we got Jesse Dean Con back here again. Honestly, I'm not trying to make him win again. We're gonna send this guy to the Shadow Realm. That's our mission today, everybody. Beat Jesse, beat the boss. Let's get it, let's go. Welcome to Duel Night. This is a brand new draft series where four players take their deck building and dueling skills to the next level. Starting chronologically from the very first booster set, each player gets the draft from the deck box containing three of every card from the current set. It goes like this. The booster set for each episode will be divided into four piles. One for each player to draft a single card from and switching piles afterwards until there are no more cards left to draft. Each duelist comes up with a 40 card deck using their drafted cards, dueling one another in a best of one. The winners of each duel will proceed to the finals battling for the title of champion. The victor gets the spin from the magical wheel, allowing them to pick a card from the deck box on the following episode. The deck box continuously builds as each set progresses, adding the best cards from previous sets to the arsenal. Watch as the four of us duel it off to see who can become the master of Duel Knight. Let's begin. Ferrani Guardian was released back on July 18th, 2003. This set contains a large number of zombie type monsters and support cards, such as Spear Reaper. Pyramid Turtle, and Book of Life. Next, this set includes the new Gravekeeper's Archetype, a powerful deck that uses Necro Valley, their Field Spell card that boosts all Gravekeeper's monsters attack and defense by 500 points. Necro Valley is also very powerful since it stops cards from moving out of the graveyard. Lastly, this set introduces once per turn, you can flip this into face down defense position mechanics which allow the reusing of effects similar to flip effects. Highly sought after cards in this set include Ring of Destruction, Book of Moon, Don Zalug, Trap Dust Shoot, and Mirage of Nightmare. Mirage of Nightmare is my favorite. Draw until you have four cards every time it hits your opponent's standby phase. But the downside is that you have to discard cards on your standby phase for each card you drew. However, combining this card with Mystical Space Typhoon and Regeki Break, and this card just became a better pot of greed. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this set introduction. Without further ado, let's bring on this week's players. All right, guys, so that's pretty much in the brief history of Ferrani Guardian. These are some of the cool cards that you want to look for when it comes to drafting and deck building. Guys, before we jump straight into introducing the players and the draft, leave in the comments right now on who you think is going to be building the best deck, okay? Let me know. We as a Duel Knight team love to interact with you guys in the comments. All right, guys, enough talking. Without further ado, let's bring on the players. Tell me how defeat tastes! All right, guys. I'm back. Light Skin Magician in the flesh. We here again. Coming for Ferran and Guardian. I gotta tell you guys, I got a, something special for you this week, okay? We might be taking out a little certain someone in the deck, and we're actually going hard this week. So you guys gotta tune in and see because this is about to be epic. Hey guys, Jesse Cotton here for the third time now for Pharaonic Guardian. Super excited to come back and whoop these guys again. Last two times, easy flawless victories. So let's go for number three. Wheel again, I can get used to this. All right, another free card. And this set actually has good cards in it. So Mirage Nightmare, Ring of Destruction, Spirit Reaper are kind of the main ones I'm looking at. 
is a good monster spell and traps. So I'm high, happy no matter what. But let's uh, let's see what I get. Trap card, ring instruction, easy choice. Yo, what's up, everyone? We are back to another episode. I probably shouldn't be smiling. I got so clapped the last week, but I don't care. I'm excited, baby. I'm excited you guys are here too. So let's get started. Pharaonic Guardian. And all I know is all my opponents are gonna need a Guardian from me, cause I'm getting my revenge today. Let's go. And before we move on to the draft, which I'm so excited for, I'm even more excited about something else. Last week, unfortunately, I lost, but so did Sam. So moving forward, every single week on Patreon, we are doing an ultimate losers battle. Me versus Sam, the ultimate loser of last week. So if you guys wanna go check that out, go sign up for the Patreon right now. It was so, it was honestly a little more fun than the actual Duel Nights. We played a whole best of three match. We have deck profiles on there, it is insane. So if you haven't already, go sign up right down below. It is extremely affordable. Go do it now. Welcome to episode number seven. And today we got Mr. Potato Man. Yo, you actually brought a potato costume? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, today we're drafting Pharaonic Guardian. Are you guys excited for this set? Yes! Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Steven, what do you think? I think that today's the, the day, finally, after all these years, yes. that I cook up some potatoes and make some fries. Let's I'm going eat oh. them. Even last time you saw- No, I don't care! Even kiss, kiss the biceps! Me, kiss it. Kiss it. Not a chance. Let's draft! Begin! Alright guys, here we go. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, no swear words on the show. Oh, come Just on, this is a PG-13. <laughs> oh, come on. Jeez. You're the maniac, maniac. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, Steven, three pals. I'm trying to read them, I'm not gonna lie. Someone stole my strategies, so I'm trying to like read other strategies. So I don't really know what my deck does right now. I don't know, Doug, what's your strategy, Steven? You wanna tell us? Win. That's my strategy. Oh, so then I'm gonna steal it then. Yeah, oh yeah, so yeah, yeah, easy, so we're gonna steal it. You stole it last week, you didn't steal none of this. Not yet, it's not over yet. So that draft took about an hour. Something like that. Are you guys really confident about your deck? Oh yeah. You guys uh, I'd like to be a little better, but I'm, I'm a tucker. Okay, okay Steven, how about you? My deck's ass. <laughs> this What's happening, right? This is I'm not this to expect it. <laughs> Unfortunately, Jesse was seriously injured during this incident and was rushed to the hospital. He was not able to continue duel night. JK. Some people can't control themselves. All right, guys, under here, unfortunately, we don't have dark magicians and blue eyes anymore. Denzel. Jesus. God. <laughs> I already lost before the game started. <laughs> My card is this time. Jesse brought his cards under here is two Seeker Rare Retro Pack 2 Blue Eye Shiny Dragon and. Uh, Champion pack, you know, Portugal? Tournament pack 7, Portugal. Well. Tournament pack 7, Portugal. It's like super expensive here. So, guys, be careful. Like 20 bucks. Ready, set, go! Okay, I'll pick that, I'll pick that. One, two, three. Oh! oh! The rematch! Let's go! Yo, we eating fries tonight, bro? We eating fries tonight, baby. Let's go. We eating fries tonight. We're eating the final 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 Whoa, boy. <sighs> okay, then you know that you're actually going to do something, right? Probably. <laughs> it's time to do Steven, again? Man, last time I saw that man, it was in the finals, and he was done for. And guess what? Ain't nothing gonna change this week. Same outcome. You already know we're gonna win. Denzel. <laughs> I'm already in the finals, boys. See you then. I play against Sam. I seem to play him every single time, and it has been pretty decisive every single time. So, yeah, what? what Nothing will change, so yeah, easy victory. Jesse! <laughs> Psych! Honestly, I would prefer to face off Denzel uh, because Denzel is, uh, you know, the kind of, you guys know Denzel. <laughs> but you know what? J Jesse is obviously a, a rough one. It's a rough battle for sure. But you know what? The thing about me, guys, I love challenges. You think I'm scared of Mr. Potato Man here? <laughs> Absolutely not. I can't wait to face Jesse, man. It's gonna be fun. And my deck, I'm, I'm sure it's gonna beat his, man, to be honest. Like, no chance. He has no chance. Okay, 
guys, just finished the draft and I got every card that I wanted. I think this is gonna be an easy week for me. I can't believe these guys didn't even draft these cards. You're gonna see what I have in store. Here's my deck list. All right guys, this week, I had to switch up the strategy. This is the first week the Dark Magician is going to be absent in the deck profile. But this is what we got today. Necro Valley, yes. So what I was able to do, I got three Necro Valleys in my deck. And you know what comes with Necro Valley? We have Grave Keepers. Yep, got that right. This week, it's a Grave Keeper week. So basically I got every single Grave Keeper that I needed except Spy, I only got it too. Somebody hate drafted the third one, which I'm not too happy about, but we got the other Grave Keepers to coincide with the deck and the deck's looking pretty nice. Between Assailant and the Soldier, Soldier doing piercing, Assailant taking out the big monsters, I think we got this. And then my ace play, my backup, we have Royal Tribute taking out the whole hand and nobody's gonna be able to reborn anything. So I think with this strategy, we got something cooking, boys. This is gonna be our week. Every week, it's the same thing. These guys don't know how to draft. My deck turns absolutely insane. Every week's the same thing. Balanced, no balance. I don't need Regeki, bro. I don't need Regeki when I got the best deck. This is my deck. So guys, this is my strategy. Very simply, a real warrior does not give up on what he believes in. Last week, I got clapped up, but what warrior gives up after one week? Not this one, baby, not this one. So we're gonna play warrior control with the addition now of not just exiled force, we have Don Zalug, as well as Sasuke Samurai, combining this with a bunch of warrior beaters, and then protecting these warrior beaters with 16 trap cards. You combine this and really, I don't think there'll even be one second of control that I give up in this entire duel night, but I'm excited. I think my deck is by far the best. Let's go. All right, we're done drafting. And you know, my deck is solid, very good deck. Could have been a little better, but I'm happy either way. Uh, now, here's the deck list. So my deck is a bit of a weenie control. It's got a lot of small monsters in it that uh, are high value and will control the game. The first one of my cool monsters that's uh, gonna be pivotal to my winning is Sangan, slash Wish of the Black Forest, slash Mystic Tomato. These uh, floaters, same as last time, let me access my entire deck. As you can see, once again, I can pretty much get any car, any monster I want from my deck at any point. The next card is Cyber Jar. Seems like it's the uh, same thing all over again, but kind of is. This card is insane. You can set up really strong power cards, blows up the field, and uh, we'll be sure to win some duels with this. And the third and final one is Fiber Jar. And uh, these flip effects are just very, very good. There's a reason why they're at one. Fiber Jar resets the duel, meaning I can be super aggressive and chip down my opponent's life points, the only thing that's not reset, and then reset the game. So all the kind of resources I lost by applying pressure just doesn't matter, I get it all back. So it's a great way of being super aggressive or even when I fall behind just to make sure I can get back in the game. All right, guys, so we just finished drafting. I truly believe I have the best deck in the room. I think each and every single episode, my deck building strategy gets better and better. So here's my deck list. All right, guys, you guys see my deck list. My deck list is very unique. You guys might get a little bit confused on what the deck does. I'm gonna call my deck Zombie Control. What it does, it's super simple, okay? The best card is my deck, Mirage and Nightmare. To pair off with Mirage and Nightmare, I have Regeki Breaks and MST. So each time I draw four cards during my opponent's standby phase, when it comes to my turn, I can always Regeki Break the Mirage, so I don't have to discard four cards. So I'm gonna be constantly keep drawing cards, keep drawing and drawing. And since I was unable to draft Pot of Greed, Mirage and Nightmare becomes a pseudo Pot of Greed in my deck, which is actually really, really awesome. With the Forbidden and Limited list, a lot of new strategies gets opened up, and Mirage and Nightmare is one of them. My main strategy, of course, is zombie control. I got Book of Life, I got Pyramid Turtles, I got Giant Rats to get me into my Pyramid Turtles, and Pyramid Turtle float into the Patricia. 
this card right here. 2,000 beat stick, turtle floats into big monsters. I got Book of Life to revive back all my zombie monsters in the graveyard. Also, at the same time, controlling the grave, Book of Life is absolutely insane. So, guys, zombie control, zombie floater, zombie beatdown with a bunch of awesome spell and trap cards in the deck. Mostly spells. I drafted all the great power spells. I'm super confident with this deck right here. I think it's going to take me to the top. And I can't wait for you guys to see me in the finals. All right, guys, so that's pretty much for all our strategy. We're gonna hop into the duel. Since you guys saw our decks and our strategies, let us know in the comments on who you think is gonna win and what is the best deck. All right, guys, in the next episode of Duel Night, I'll be giving away one Ferrani Guardian booster pack to one lucky winner who leaves a comment. Let me know, it's gonna be awesome. Steven, we meet again. But this time? What happened last time? We just... I'm pretty sure I won. No, definitely not. Have you ever beat That's me? how I got the ring. Oh my god, it is. That's how I got the ring. It's 1-1, one, one, my friend. But I don't see it on you now. So we're Wanna know why? Because you're not getting another one. I saved it because I prepared two rings for today. So once I beat you, I'm going to beat Sam or Jesse, and then I'm going to have you do the honor of putting one of them on. Uh, don't get any ideas, not on my middle finger, wedding finger. That's reserved for Celine. And the other one is gonna be Sam or Jesse putting the other one. And they're both gonna be my middle fingers, sending a lesson and a proof to the world that Drew is here to play! Rock, paper, scissors! I gotta play. I should have done a different one. I did rock, anyways. First or second? <laughs> second. <laughs> All right, good luck. I know almost have a the dark! And then I sent two trap cards to protect my Zombrai of the dark. Jaw for turn. Stand by main phase. Yes. I'm gonna set one mysterious Oh card my. And set another two oh mysterious Oh my cards god, that's so scary. Columns, and I will end my turn. Draw for my turn now. I'm gonna enter my battle phase. And I'm gonna use my warrior, Zombrai of the dark, and attack your face down monster. Nimbo Momongu. Nimbo Momongu? When you destroy wow. my monster, oh no! Another one comes another out. Another one comes. But I also add 1,000 life points. Wow, that is awesome. Seven more pass. So this card loses 200 attack. Yes, it's at 1,900 now. And I will draw for my turn. Sounds good. For the start of my turn. Yes. I will activate. Uh oh. The forming of Terra. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's all right. That's all right. To search. Yes. For a card that I will need, yes. which is the Necro, Necro Valley. Necro Valley, oh my god, that hurts my deck strategy. And what I will do is I will activate the Necro Valley. Yes. And I will also summon. You cannot activate this card's effect unless the deck wasn't field. This card declares an attack. You can change battle position in one face of a monster on your opponent's side of the field. Oh my god, that is so scary, Trapple. <laughs> this is Trapple! Wait a second, wait a second. Don't you see, see a hole? Somewhere there? Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! There are one this a hole. Oh, I don't see the hole on the table. I don't see the hole on the table. No hole. I don't see a hole on the table. I don't see anything. There's no <laughs> Ring a bell? That was episode one. I don't forget these things. Shout out to Travel. Oh. Shout out to Denzel episode one. <laughs> Good move, sir. Thank you, thank you. I will end my turn. All right. I will draw. I will normal summon the exile force. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's all right. And then, you ready? I'm gonna enter my battle phase. Yes. And attack with Zombria. Nimble Momonga. Oh, I didn't expect that, but that's all right. You can summon your monster. I can't because I don't have builders. Let's go and exalt Bards attack it! Well I add 1,000 life points. That's all right. And then I'm going to remove those 1,000 life points. Is that okay? I will accept it. Thank you. That puts you at 9,000 life points. Yes. All right. And then I'm going to pass my turn to you. Okay. All right. Then I will draw for my turn. Yes. Please don't do anything too crazy. Please don't do anything too crazy. And my friend has left. So I will add my friend again! <laughs> Another one, no! The Gravekeeper's Assailant. Oh my. That is not okay. 
but there's nothing I can do. And with the boost of Necro Valley, yeah. she will be at 2,000 attack mm. and 2,000 defense. That's so scary. And I will enter the battle phase. Yes. And I will attack the Exile Force. Wait one second. You can only activate this card's effect on your opponent. Declares an attack. Ordeal of a Traveler. Ordeal of a Traveler. <laughs> Ordeal of a staller. This is what I do best, baby. Come at me. Let's go. What my trap card does is you're going to have to guess monster, spell, or trap. And if you guess wrong, your card gets bounced to your hand. Is that what it does? Oh, yes. But do you get to do that too? When your opponent, your opponent selects one random card in your hand, it's a monster, spell, or trap. The attacking monster returns to his owner's hand. Oh, that's hell. <laughs> Yeah, but that's such a stupid card. Yeah, well, you're gonna get it wrong because 33% chance. Wait, you have to say what it is first. Spell. So this is a spell? Yeah. You're actually so lucky. It's unbelievable, bro. Assailant, attack, and he's got Ordeal of the Traveler? Come on. You guys, I'm guessing this right every time. Pegasus's eye, we can see it. We know what Triff is up to. This attack's going through easy. Because I am the ultimate So hold up, Adam, can I yeah. still use something still while he declares an attack like that? What does it say? Uh, yeah. Judge Jesse? Bro, that's so insane. You only have this card's effect when your opponent declares an attack. You're, okay, so it activates when it declares an attack, so you cannot use anything else in response to the attack declaration. But after the attack declaration, there is still a battle step to use any other quick effects. So if you have a Mirror Force, for example, you cannot use it, but any, any other trap card you can. Uh, it... Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm so scared. So you're going to attack me now? Yes. Gravekeeper's assailant will attack the exile. Is there a, a ring around your card? Dude, he's got zero of them. He has one of them. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's right, baby. Get out of my face, bro. To the graveyard you go. And my exile force. Survives. Still in the battle phase. Oh no. Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I will activate. No! So right of spirit. Wow. Me to wow. special summon one grave keeper yeah. from my grave. Wow. To the people. Wow. <laughs> this it's continuous. Everyone. Every monster. <laughs> That's okay. The opponent declares an attack. <laughs> Would you like to take the chance? Okay. okay. So I am going to attack. <laughs> the United We Stand is there. I am going to attack the zombie with the back and I will say spell. <laughs> Get that out of there! Let's go. Oh, must have something in my Pegasus eye there. Won't happen again. Denzel might have the Millennium Eye, but I have the Millennium Beard. And it's unstoppable! A spell and a trap. And I will set one mysterious card and I will have it. I draw. Alright, I'm gonna enter the battle phase. Yes. And I'm gonna attack you for 1,000. Okay, good. And then. I'm gonna set one, and I'm gonna pass. Draw for my turn. Oh! The first card I drafted. Hot agree. That's a good card. You add two cards to my hand with a one. Whoa, baby! <laughs> and a two. Whoa, baby! <laughs> we got mans out here, boy. Okay. I am going to normal summon the assailant. Yes. And I will enter the battle phase. Yes. And what I'm going to do is uh, tap the zombie. Here we go. <laughs> and I knowing you, that the torrential is in your hand, I guarantee you. You're trying I to play know. some mind game. I don't know. You're playing. I'm going to outthink you. That, that is not a, <laughs> This is a trap. Is it? Yes. Unless I'm playing myself. <laughs> 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 is that your final answer? That's my final answer. This is a trap? Yes. But which trap? Torrential Chip. 
And get, I am so much smarter than you, Steven! Get out of here! I knew it! You dumb, you're garbage! See ya! See ya! My game to win! And I will set one mysterious card and I will end my turn. All right, I will draw. I'll have to use Exile Force's effect. See ya! <laughs> All right, now let me think here. OTK. So, oh, Jesus. Louisus. I'm not. Draw. Yes. Stand by main face. Yes. I will normal summon. That's the yes. card attacks. <laughs> the card attacks attack. Uh, you... Okay, so it does uh, piercing damage. Okay. And 2000. And I will attack your life point. Direct. Spear soldier. What are you calling? Did you leave another? Did you leave another trap in your hand? It Maybe. Can't be you use the spell. You know what? It is a trap. I, I'm actually going to say trap. You call trap? Yeah, I'm gonna say the trap. Yeah, it's a, you're, yeah, let's go. Two thousand direct. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Michael, what's your, what's your life points? Uh, 42, uh, Steven's at 4200, cheers to five. So good, let's go! I summon... Zombroya! The Dark! Is that alright? Absolutely. And then, here comes your demise, my friend. We're gonna activate Mage Power, giving it 2,000 attack, making it 4,000 and 100 attack. Mage power, boost up those stats. Boost those stats all the way up. We love this. And then, I'm going to attack your Gravekeeper monster that I don't know the name of. 4100. For 2,100 damage. Mirror Force is fine. It's not the, the magic cylinder. The magic <laughs> cylinder. Steve, you're on. Negates <laughs> the attack of one of your opponent's monsters and inflict damage to your opponent. So what am I at? Equal <laughs> to that monster's attack. What was the app before? 42. Is that 42? <laughs> oh my god, hey. my 100. <laughs> Got him. Ding, 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 ding. There goes his life points, baby. This game's in the bag. 100 life points. First off, who even plays Magic Cylinder? Anyways, we're at 100 life points. I'm in this scenario again. Backs against the wall. Have I ever given up with my back against the wall? 100 life points? It doesn't matter. What happened last time when I was down to 100 life points? It didn't matter. We're not giving up. Not today. Not ever. We're winning this no matter what it takes. 100 life points as long as I have one life point. It's all I need. Never give up. Let's go. Oh my god. All right. No games anymore. Pass. At the end phase, I will trust Tornado. The Solemn Shadow. <sighs> this is not good. My turn. Draw! Yes. <laughs> bro, I've never got hit with Magic Cylinder for 4,100 damage in my life. Did you buy the broken emergency? I think so too. Oh, that card can't attack directly. Oh, okay. Oh god. <laughs> I was like, no, this is not how I lose. Yo, what's the Godzilla? Godzilla does 65 to your. Okay. One, 100. No, he has I'm one. 100. Oh, sorry, 100. Sorry. Yeah. Michael? Um, I'll end. Oh, and he can't even put any other monsters in attack in case of dying. Oh, 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 oh shiza. I'll attack. Yeah, and I'll attack for 23. Take it. I'll pass. 
Draw for my turn. Okay. I will normal summon my Grape Keeper Spear Soldier that inflicts piercing damage to a monster. Oh my god, I completely forgot. That hold on one sec. Hold up, hold up. Monsters in defense position. <laughs> I forgot! To monsters in defense position. Oh, it's a torrential. That inflicts monsters in defense position. Is that the reborn trap? What a game we have. Enter battle phase. Oh my god, bro. Don't do Kidding, that. Kidding, man. Check. I'll pass. I will pass. <laughs> You play anything less than 2,000 attack. Those cheeks are mine, boy. Those cheeks are mine. Brass. Ah, yes, indeed. I'm going to set one. I'm going to set one. I'm going to let you go. This is the best card in my deck. Set this. I have card advantage. He's not coming back from this. Flip it up. That's game, baby. 100 life points. It's a wrap, boys. So this. This useless card doesn't work if you don't have any yes. cards in your hand. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. One sec. I'll flip this up. Oh, just say. I'll use this too, and I'll destroy it. Oh my god. That was unbelievable. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fast. Sasuke Samurai knows exactly what's good. I'll teach you exactly what a Hokage means. United we stand with his Sasuke Samurai attacking into my monster. Who doesn't play like that? And he's also down in life points. A 1300 monster. I draw any Gravekeeper and this game is done. I'm <laughs> a 1300, don't do this bro. Yeah, Don't what? do this. I'm at 1300 attack. I will pass. <laughs> oh, never mind. Yeah, uh, uh, I'll attack for 1300. Oh, I thought it was another Maddie cylinder. What's it after the 13? Even uh, it's, it's one, okay? No, uh, for him, I'm saying. I did a 13. Wow, what a card to draw! Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll pass. Sasuke 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 Sasuke. Sasuke. He ran to his spy in the fence. He's done. Go! Wow! I'll have to attack for 13. Yeah. I'll have to pass. John. So you're at 1600, right? Yes. Go ahead. You're so antsy. Oh my god! Ow! Ow! <laughs> What's going on with my deck right now? I had all the monsters before. Where did they go? I have nobody that can beat a 1300 monster? Yugi, where are you? Yugi! Deck, it senses my doubt. Summon Gear Freed. Uh. Attack for game. Yeah. 100 to 300. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Give me one monster. Oh, what? If I lose this way, I'm never showing up on your show. <laughs> I promise. Let me just tell you one thing, okay? The warrior never gives up. I'll pass. Oh my god! Heart of the cards! Yugi, guide me! Ah! Yeah, it searches my doubt. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> you're bleeding, you're bleeding, you're bleeding. <laughs> That's a magic cylinder, I just know it. Steven, Steven's at one. For the last oh yeah. <laughs> I've been seeing it every turn for the last five top five turns. That's a magic cylinder. Okay. Here goes nothing. Sasuke Samurai from Naruto! Attack for game! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Coming back from 100 life points! Hold up! Everyone wait one second! Everyone wait one second! Everyone needs to hear this, one second. In the words of the GO himself, Kratos, listen! We are not men. We are more than that. I don't know what he's saying, but it sounds cool. Let's go. Oh, my God. 
Last time, it was too many dark magicians in my life. Now, two chief keys. I draw two chief keys with no monsters to normal summon. Oh, I just can't get it right ever. <sighs> what a way to lose. <sighs> All right, guys, well, off to the Patreon loser bracket, but let's be honest. We already know Jesse's gonna win. So I'm gonna have to face Sam again. Sam again, the luckiest duelist ever. I know when I face him this time, I sound like a broken record though. Who, who even knows what's gonna happen at this point, but I'm liking my deck. I for sure should have even won that against Triff. I can't believe. 100 life points is all I needed and one monster. Absolutely ridiculous. But Sam, I'm coming for you. You're going down. And I know you're gonna lose to Jesse, so everybody knows it anyway. All right, guys, here we go. I'm facing Jesse Khan right in the semifinals. Man, Jesse, I'm excited, man. Very excited. How are you feeling today? Good. I don't know if we can top that last duel. That was crazy. That last duel was crazy. That, was nice. that last duel, guys, with Steven and uh, Denzel. Guys, Denzel, how are you feeling, bro? Are you okay? Bro. No words. <laughs> what's worse? What's worse? Huh, what's the way the way Denzel lost now, or the way Triff lost last week to Milano? Which would you rather be, you? I'd rather be in Denzel's situation. I think so too. Because because was... Yadalock, you got Yadalock. Let's, let's not talk about that. Already. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, he got Yadalock. All right, Jesse, let's rock with There's no one. Uh, let's do dice, right? Let's do that. Fine. Let's do, let's do dice. We're using Neuron app. No. Let's go. All right, guys, the judges today for this duel is gonna be Judge Steven. Steven. Hello, uh, everybody. Uh, how are you guys doing? I hope you're having a great day. I'm good. All right, high roll. Ooh, four. Pretty, pretty nice. Two. All right, Jesse, you can start. Good luck, brother. Here Talk we go. Let's Take go. Off my hood. Ooh, my bad, man. Are you guys? My bad. You can take out the hood or what? Okay. All right. Try to hand loop me, Jesse. Am I trying to hand loop you? Oh wait, wait, wait. There's an issue. What's up? What's up? You're looking too fresh, bro. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Honestly, Jesse, I actually like your costume, man. It's a week, it's a week after Halloween, but I, I appreciate it. <laughs> I'll set a card face down and pass my turn. That's it? Pathetic. <laughs> All right, I'm going to normal summon a Pyramid Turtle. Sure. I'm going to attack for 1,200. And you will be swinging two or two of the Traveler yet again. <laughs> okay, all right. You have lots of card in hand? Four in hand. Um, four in hand. All right, okay, four cards in hand. Let's see. Jesse, you didn't do anything. I'm gonna call this a monster. Dust Tornado is a trap card, so this wow. goes back to your hand. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. No uh, problem. Okay, I am going to activate Mirage of Nightmare. Ooh, that's a good card. Set two cards face down, and I'll end my turn. I'll drop a turn? Yep. So on your standby phase, I gotta activate Mirage of Nightmare's effect. You draw one card? I draw one card. Nice. Main phase one. You're good. I'll set the card face down. Yep. I'll pass my turn. All right, drop a turn. So, Mirage of Nightmare will now trigger. Yes, so one card randomly is gonna get discarded. One card is gonna randomly get discarded. You need to just pick. Do I wanna go to the Pyramid Turtle or no? Let's see. Beeper. Ooh, nice. So, Ordeal of Travel is pretty nice. I'm just gonna set one card face down and I'll end my turn. I'll drop a turn. Yep, you're good. Stand by face. Yes. Cool. I'll pass turn to you. All right, draw. Effect the Mirage. Yep. You can pick a random card. Kaiku. Nice. Cool. We have too many cards in hand. This defensive card. I will set one. Uh, set another. And I have my turn. Draw turn. Mirage. Yep. Draw two. I'll set a monster first. Yep. Pass my turn. All right, draw. Stand my face. Yep. This card too, right? I know. MSD. Regeki break. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just need to. I found, found, found my inner triff. Stand my face. Let's go. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. I found my my inner triff. Wow. Let me see. Tough choice you don't use, really, really tough. I'm just gonna MSD. Stand by. Cool. Nice. So we're pretty much lit. 
So, wow, this is pretty. Get a normal summon Kaiki the Ghost Destroyer. Sure. Uh, enter the battle phase. I'm gonna attack the new set. Uh, or the old trap. Sure. Um, man, this card's not fun. Yeah, you could have missed either. You chose not to. We have to declare a card first before trap. you. Trap. <laughs> trap. Yes! Very nice. Destroy! Ah, Spear Reaper. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> All right, I end my turn. Draw. What the hell is this? Someone take that out. I'll be spelling you guys right now. Yeah, this is not good. I'll set another card face down? Yep. <laughs> Fast turn. All right, draw. All right. Let's go. Battle face, Kaiku. Yep. Dak. Ordeal? Yeah. I'm gonna call Trap. Premature Burial is a spell card. Oh. Main phase two. Normal summon Kaiku? Sure. And I end my turn. Drop the turn? Yo, this card is so annoying, guys. <laughs> Most annoying card in the world. <laughs> Not all, eh? <laughs> Denzel? <laughs> Flip up, fire the car. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm doing it for you, Farfa. Fire the car! <laughs> Honestly, you guys, if you guys haven't watched Master Series, uh, I feel bad for you guys, all right? Because honestly, now I know how Farfa feels. Okay, you know Farfa, this guy right here? He he, he got fiber dry by me like four, four or five times. And uh, I'm not trying to play a game, game, game two, game game one, two, or game one, three. I'm not trying to play. If he resolves fiber dry again, I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm, go I'm leaving. Like, ah, this is ironic. You see, uh, I've been watching one of the other series in this channel, the Master Series between Farfa and Sam, and Sam has been, Bugging for a lot with fiber jars, so I think it's just desserts that I uh, get this fiber jar off on him now, make him feel some pain. I don't really want to do that, but eh. You suck. Wait, wait, wait. Everything goes back? Yes. Because it's starting to all over again. Yep, life points. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was for nothing. See, <laughs> I've played a lot of Yu Gi Oh! My mind can depend a long time of battle, but I don't think you can. You will crack eventually. So. Yeah, you, think you think I'm cracking? You think I, I, I had fun using that card too? Guess what? I can sit here all day. Pussy? Bet. <laughs> wow, 12 turns for nothing. That's hilarious. Wow. <laughs> That's so sad. PG13. Oh, sorry. You suck. <laughs> Very original, Sam. Okay. I draw five? Yeah, we'll draw five cards. Yep. I'm a normal summon. Mystic Tomato. Sure. Tomato, tomato. 1,400 damage to Raichi. Sure. Do I use Gores or Kalibo or? No. Gores? What, bro, I swear we're like 10 years behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at... Uh, first damage? First yes, damage. this is first damage. I'll set a monster. I'll set a card face now. Yep. Your turn. Draw. Bro, that's another ordeal to travel, man. What was that for? <laughs> <laughs> what, was that, what was that for? You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Okay. To mess with you, I told you. It's a mental battle on top of the cards on the field. You go, Kaiku. Uh, I am my turn. Drop a turn. Uh, Mirage, is that my face? Yep. Draw. Two or one? One. We'll activate. Creature swap. Sure. Thank you. I will then normal summon Mother Grizzly. Mother, sure. Battle phase. Sure. Mother Grizzly will come attack a Mystic Tomato. Tomato, tomato. Oh, he's gonna flow into two monsters. Oh my god. Um, okay. That's fine. I'll activate Chain Link 1, Mystic Tomato. Chain Link 2, Mother Grizzly. Yep, you're good. Summoning. Another Mother Grizzly. Yep. And Witch of the Black Forest. Sure. I will continue with my attacking. 
Rich the Black Forest, 1100 directly. Yeah, I'll take off. Mother Grizzly, right, 1400, and Kaiku, 1800. Oh, 4300 points of damage this turn. Yep, I'm at 23 to 8,000. Yep. Main phase two. Mm -hmm. Hmm, you have to discard one in your draw phase. So you're gonna have four in hand. Um, I'll pass my turn there. All right, draw. In standby phase, is Mirage discarding a card? Would you like to stop it? I wish I could. Pick a card. I will pick this card. In addition to faith, that card is useless anyways. Very gecky. I'll ask it the effect of Witch of the Black Forest. Sure. Can I have my Kaku back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. And I will add. Don't, 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 don't. Fiber Jack. <laughs> oh my god. Fam, this is, this, this, I don't know what's going on. Should ban that card. Uh, okay. Sure. You can have the Gemini Elf. Sure. Don't want some Gemini Elf? Yep. Uh, battle phase 19. Sure. Sure. Uh, and my turn. Drop the turn. Drop. Sure thing. Yep. Face down. <laughs> I'm so tired of this. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Mirage. Two. Uh, two, right? Yes. This now one? the real question. And this one. Is Jesse going to pull a cyber jar, fiber jar play? Remember that one? Felt bad. Look alike. Sure. The banisher. See, so that's a cyber jar. That's cool. That's a fiber jar. That's fine. Trishan? Yep. Battle phase. Attack. It's not it's a fiber jar. It is. It's, it's cyber jar? A mirror force. Oh! <laughs> mirror force. He has that one set. I swear to the Egyptian gods, if that is a fiber jar, I know what Jesse's trying to do. I know exact. I know exactly what he's trying to do. I know exactly what he's trying to do. Look at me, Trisha. Sure, sure. Uh, main phase two. Draw. You make four new cards. One, two, three, four. Good. Main phase one. Yep. Flip. Fiber jar. Okay. Oh. He's doing. Yo, bro, hold up. He's he's. Hold up. Give me a second. Oh, fiber jar. Okay. Sam. I'm sorry, guys, but uh, I can do this all day. I can see uh, Sam's getting upset. Let's keep it that way. I'm going to ceasefire. Sure. Okay. So you lose a thousand. This is yeah. The... I, yeah. Yeah. You lose a thousand, right? Yeah. Okay. And you're at fifty-one to twenty twenty-three. And he's gonna shuffle everything back to my deck, right? Yo, he's just. You feel nice? Yeah. Draw five. Draw five cards. Dude. Normal summon Yadagarasu. Check for 200. Sure. Damn, sure. So the card face down and turn it to my hand. So I can't draw, fortunately. Um, uh, my god, this is where it gets. I know you, Jesse. You have Ordeo the Traveler again. So don't attack them. No. I'm gonna do damage. Kaiku. Sorry. Attack. Ring of Destruction! 
Holy. <laughs> What's in your order? Uh, you can't have less life points or than the guy's attack. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. That's cool. No, no, I take 18 too, so I get him to oh, sorry. Yeah, so 33. How much is it? 18. So 300 to 300, to what? So you can't give me a ring. Hey Sam. Yo. I just want you to know something, bro. This is where warriors are made of. This is where warriors are. Never are. give up. I, I will never give up. Steve. You know someone else that has come back with such low life points? Who? You're talking to him. The champion? The champion. Kratos? I... Am I? In the draw phase. Oh. Mr. Space Titan, try to get this one. I got the lethal set up now. I just need one more attack to connect and the game is over. So I have a decision to make. I have Missile Space Typhoon. I can hit one of his two face downs or his Mirage and Nightmare. If I hit his Mirage and Nightmare, it's theoretically more advantage, but he can still come back in the game with his trap cards. My hand isn't fantastic. It's all monsters that take some time to set up. If I hit one of his spell or trap cards, I can go for a lethal shot more likely. However, if I specifically hit Mystical Space Typhoon in the draw phase, before the Mirage of Nightmare has resolved, if I hit his Mystical Space Typhoon or Regeki Break, he was planning to use on his own Mirage of Nightmare, that means he won't be able to turn off his Mirage of Nightmare and keep the cards he drew, most likely, at least. So this way, I have several pos possible upsides, and the chances of me winning are pretty high. Sure. What the hell is this? Normal summon, Mystic Tomato. Yep. Battle phase. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right, we're going to Patreon now. Told you guys, Sam's trash. He lost. I'm about to face him. And you know what? It's going to be different this time. I'm going to destroy my deck this time around is so much better than his. I don't even know what kind of strategy he's got going on, but it's not as good as my Gravekeeper deck. I'm still salty that I lost, but Sam, I'm coming for you. You're not winning this. Shout out Patreon. I'm also the undefeated Patreon champion, and nobody's losing me, beating me in this loser's bracket. Bring them on. The last time we faced, Jesse has bested me. A real warrior does not want an easy way out. A real warrior wants the hard way out. I need to defeat Jesse to prove that I belong at one place in this show, and that is at the top, as first place. I need to beat Jesse, and I will. Steven's been, uh, he's, he's had my name in his mouth a lot recently, and he wants his revenge. And I'm gonna show him that he's not gonna get that. This is gonna be another quick and easy, masterfully planned out victory from my end. Jesse? What's up, Jeff? We meet in the finals. Last time we played, you cyberjarred me and it scarred me. I talked a little bit of smack, but this time I'm all business. I'm gonna focus. I wish you the best of luck, but I will win today. Best of luck. All right, rock, paper, scissors. Um, you know what Yu-Gi-Oh players like to do a lot? We used to try pick the mon X-Jack monster with the highest attack. Okay. Now that we finally have X-Jack monsters. <laughs> let's do it, let's do it. Pick the one with higher attack. Highest these attack. Two. Okay. Yes. You put this one a little closer to me, so I'll say this one. Green Skull Dragon versus Thousand Strict. You got it. I've already won the mental battle. Um, you can go first. It's ironic because last time I outplayed you with that rock, paper, scissors, remember? You did, you did. So. But I'm not trying to lose any is, more is, mental is that, battles. Is that an indicator of what's to come? Maybe. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But good luck. Find out after this commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> right. good, good so luck. you said I start? Oh, uh, you mention. start. Yeah, you okay. start. Yeah. Main phase one? Yes. Sorry, card face down. Okay. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. Want some Don's Luke? Sure. I'll attack. You attack him with the Cyber Jar. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Every time! Oh my god. All right, it's fine. Duster. Yomi Ship. Fairy Box. Ring of Destruction. And Upstart. What the hell? We both <laughs> no monsters. Let me just read this. It sounds like the story. <laughs> All right, so uh, you have Dust Ring Fairy. Ordeal Torrential, <laughs> this is gonna be a grueling game. Yeah. And let me see the game, so is Ordeal. Yeah. Uh, is Ordeal Torrential Reborn? Yeah, 
Yeah. You have Ring Fairy, Upstart. Oh, so Yomi Shep and Face Down. Nice. Yeah, Ring Fairy and, was, and Dust. Okay. And Upstart, yeah. yeah. And that one destroyed, so still Battle Phase. Sure. And Effect Destroyed. So both get destroyed. May Phase 2 now? Yeah. I'm saving this just in case of Witch, but I'll use Forceful Sentry. Okay, so well, this is going to be very interesting. Let me think. I'll have to send the Spear Reaper. The Reaper? Yeah. <laughs> I'll pass. I'll draw for turn. Yep. Main phase one. Yep. Activate upstart Galvin. Yep. Gain 1,000 life points. Draw a new card. I will normal summon Bazu the Soul here. Summon Swarn. I will enter the battle phase. Battle phase is fine. I'll declare an attack with Bazu. On declaration, use our deal. Sure. I think this card is a monster. <laughs> We're alive. Please go. You're, you're at 7k, right? Face down? Why? Oh, you know, you're at uh, 8, right? Oh, no, I'm at 9k. I'm at 9k. Go ahead. Let's summon Thons of Loot. Sure. Um, I'm also using Monster Reborn on Thons of Loot. Sure. Thons of Loot, bro. You want to know why I play him? Because he has big biceps, that's why. On to the battle phase. I'll attack a Dawn's Loop. Um, I start the battle phase. Yep. I will activate Ring of Destruction by Dawn's Loop. Yep. Each take 14 points of damage. Yep. I'll attack a Dawn's Loop. Activate Fury. Yep. So I'll flip a coin. Yeah. All right, so I'll call heads. Tails. All right. So I take 1,400 points of damage. Yep. And I'll pick. Did you Main phase two. Yep. I'm going to use Warrior Return to Live. Run down to loop. Sure. We'll pass. Copy. Pay 500 life. Mm-hmm. Set a monster face down. Mm -hmm. Pass my turn. Use Rota? Sure. I'll take Exile, of course. Sure. Uh, and I was going to take your best friend Sasuke. But uh, Fairy Box might be a problem. Summon Fairy Box? Sure. I mean, Summon Exile, of course. I'll use it for a pop. Yeah. I'll attack 14. Sure. Fairy box effect. Yep. Calling heads again. Uh... Ah, God damn it. Cool. So putting you at 3300? Yes. Okay. Calls it wrong twice. At this point, I'm in massive control of this game. I'm not gonna get cocky. I'm focused. I'm this is business trip right here. I cannot lose. No cockiness, just business. I need to win. And so far, I'm doing exactly that. Oh, whilst I knew this was a possibility, this is still super unlucky. The stupid fairy box is gonna cost me the game here. Help us. Drop a turn. I'm almost done with the tornado. Okay. That's fine. I pay a thousand for the door. Turn, Steven. Right. Cool. Yep. 
So time to go for game. I'll start off. Don Zalug has put in some work, so I want him to attempt to go for the game here. Let's see if he can get it wrong three times in a row. I'll attack for Don Zalug for game. Heads. All right, and here it goes. Mask of Darkness, attack for game. Heads again. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Has to go. Yep. Alive. <laughs> Activate Dust Genator, targeting this one. And the summon buys you the Soul Eater. Yeah. And I will bottom us. No shit talk, it was a good game. And uh, give me my second ring, baby! Let's go! Congrats, Steven. It uh, took a lot of luck, but you got there. Congrats on your win. Yeah, I'm not really satisfied with second place, but of course, you'll never catch me at this Ultimate Losers match that Sam and Zell are gonna play. If you wanna check that out, it's coming up next on the Patreon. If you guys wanna see more about my strategy, you can go check out the Patreon, where we have in-depth deck profiles, so you can learn how I built the deck and a little more about it. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you guys? In fact, I'm not even gonna be cocky now. I won, this was to be expected. My deck was absolutely insane. No cockiness, except for a little bit. Let's go, baby! What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell everyone? My deck's insane. Next week, I'm gonna win again. Yo, Sam. What's the best card next set? I don't even care, I don't even need it. My deck is just crazy. This is gonna be a time in this show where I'm not gonna have enough fingers. I'm not gonna have enough fingers on my hand to hold all of my rings. I'm gonna need to add them on top of each other. That's how much I'm gonna cop up. Jesse, let's go. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this episode. Unfortunately, I did not win, but I promise you, I will not be the ultimate loser. Right now on Patreon, we have a really great community on there. We're trying to grow every single episode, and the more you guys are on there, the more awesome it gets. So, guys, we're discussing some crazy merch ideas uh, on the Patreon. We're doing some crazy mats and things like that. So, we got a bunch of crazy cool content, discussions, and awesome video ideas when it comes to doing it and other awesome Yu Gi Oh! content. So, if you guys want to be a part of that building process, be sure to check out Patreon. And I can't wait to see all you guys there. It's gonna be awesome. All right, guys, remember, put it on your calendars. Duel Night is every other Friday, okay? So, since it's on this Friday, it won't be next week. That will be the week after. But if you guys want to check out awesome, cool Yu-Gi-Oh! content and series, we got Master Series every single Thursday, and we basically got daily videos on Team Samurai X1. So if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button, what are you guys waiting for? Click on the subscribe button. That'll be very, very awesome. And remember, guys, please leave a comment in the comment section below on what your favorite deck out of all of us is and why. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. This is your boy Sam from Duel Night signing off. All right, guys, see you next time. All right. Peace!